Hey guys, this is a quick video on how to make Media Coder portable. Now what you're going to need for this is you're going to need to go to Google and type in Media Coder. And basically you're going to go to Downloads. And you're going to have to download the latest edition, 0.6.1 latest. Get the 7-zip archive. That's important. You have to get the 7-zip archive. Uh, this is really only for 32-bit because 64-bit isn't yet supported, I don't think. Um, and auto select your nearest server and just download it. And then, so, and if you want the extra codec pack, it's right here. It lets you decode all of these codexes or all of these format stuff. And just download this, and there you go. Now it's optional; you don't need it. If you have no need for that, then don't use it. And then also uh, in Google, you're gonna have to type in WinRAR, not WinRAW. That's not even a word. Uh, and you're gonna have to download it from rarsoft.com. And it's, it is commercial software, so I'd recommend you get the trial, or you're going to have to get the trial. Uh, get the 3.71, because that's the stable one, and the, the beta is always, as you can see, it's in beta, so it's going to be buggy. And that's your basically done with Firefox. Now, put all of those files in the same place. In this case, I have it in this folder. Public and recorded TV. Now, there's no actual TV in here. Um and extract it using the third option so extract to media coder with WinRAR and I know what you're thinking well I could do that with 7-zip yeah you can do you can extract it with 7-zip but you need to do something else with WinRAR that you can't do in 7-zip unless you know command line and unfortunately I don't so I can't show you that uh, then what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna go ahead and start media coder and the reason we're gonna start media coder is because we want to get rid of this stupid splash screen and this uh, page popping up every single time you start it because uh, let's face it you don't want to be you know at work if you're using this and this popping up every single time you launch it so what you're going to go ahead and check is, it, is you're going to go ahead and check this little do not show this page at the startup and start media coder you can exit that now okay and so here we now here we are excuse me okay and now what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and uh, press the extension box and remember remember the choice I'm going to hit no and if nothing pops up, uh, you're going to need to do another trick that I'm going to kind of show you. But if, if something did pop up, uh, then you don't need to do this. You're going to skip that step. You're going to skip this step. Okay, so here's the step for all of you that when you press the extensions button, nothing happens. You're going to go to Options, Browser Setup, and you need Firefox, by the way. You have to go to Safe Mode and hit OK. Then the extensions should work. And there we go. And of course, the people whose extensions did work, ignore that step. Go to File. Uh, settings, go to overall, user interface, go down, go to show splash for a specified time, and hit zero, or type in zero, excuse me, hit apply, exit this, minimize that, and exit media cutter, and it'll save a bunch of DLLs with your preferences and stuff. So now, uh, at this point, you're almost done. Now, if you want those extra codec packs, uh, you're going to go here, and you're going to go ahead and install this to this directory. Uh, if you don't want the extra codexes, uh, skip this step. Uh, so I'm going to go and sh show you an example. What you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to double left click, hit run, and choose this as the destination folder. Here's an example. So that's the example. Uh, the destination folder is this. So I've selected it in here. Hit install. Hit finish. And then you should have all those codexes. Now I want you to select everything. Right click, add to archive. Uh, check create SFX archive. That's very important. The compression method, just set it to best. If you want it normal, that's fine. But obviously, the more compression, the lower the file size. And uh, sorry, I didn't tell you that. Go to SFX options. Uh, in the setup program, run after extraction. Type in mediacoder.exe it's important that you spell it right, that's how you spell it. Okay, then go to modes, unpack to temporary folder, check that box. Uh, check hide all and overwrite all files. Hit OK and OK. And now it will compress. And by the way, I got this information or how to create this SFX archive structure from Robert Stug. He's a user on YouTube. YouTube, And so I'll have a link to his channel in the video description as well I have all the links to the programs and such used in this video. 
and obviously if you had the normal compression it would compress faster and it will also decompress faster but again you get smaller file size so we're almost done about six seconds left well, three now okay so it's done okay deselect all that double left click on this and now with any luck it should open and there we go it's opened and so now you have support for the extensions no splash screen and no you know startup message and you can do this if you don't want to make it portable you can do that in uh, the original media coder just download the installer and do this the settings thing it will work in that as well so everything that we've done in this portable version with the all the stuff extracted you can do in the original uh, version when you install it so that's basically the tutorial um, this has been a video tutorial by Asvision007. Uh, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you like the videos.